Alrighty, welcome back to the channel everyone. Look who it is, the old salsa dog. Oh. Hello salsa. Welcome back everyone. Uh, today is lovely mail day. And salsa is ecstatic. She's going to sniff some something. But thank you to everyone who sent mail. The holidays are here. Let's uh, let's get into it. Alrighty, so yes, welcome back to everyone. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Awesome, awesome mail day here. There is a ton of packages. Uh, this might be a little bit lengthy of a video, but I'll try to get to everything. Uh, one thing I will say is I know there's a lot going on with the post office right now. Um, so if you guys sent anything, I'm recording this video on Saturday, posting it here on Monday. Throughout the next couple days before the holiday, your package may arrive. Uh, it may arrive after the holiday. If you want to send something, I will be doing another mail day video here um, early January. So like January 5th through like the 8th, most likely. I planned on releasing this video about a month ago. I said December 20th. The video was coming out December 21st, so we're pretty close. I think today is 21st in terms of Monday is the 21st. Um, so yes, we are back. Thank you to everyone who sent packages. If you guys uh, sent the package, I greatly appreciate it. And thank you for all the support. And thank you for all the support this entire year because it's been a truly amazing year, even though it's been a very difficult year. So let's get into it. Uh, we got some letters here. Let's, uh, oh, salsa. So if you guys included a, uh, a gift with the letter I'll be reading on camera, fun fact today is I probably read 90% of all these letters off camera, um, at least the ones that are in my hand, and uh, opening up all these packages and letters. So what I usually do is I actually just cut open the package. Um, and with the letters, I also generally just cut open the letters beforehand. It probably took me 30 minutes to read this and I got so sidetracked. Uh, so this is going to be a very long day affair. Uh, but thank you to everyone else out there who sent letters or packages. This one's from Auntie Cheryl F. out of Parma, Ohio. We have one from Patricia W. out of Millbury, Massachusetts. Chris C. from Richlands, Virginia. Lucilia uh, M. from Canyon Lake, Texas. Linda S. from Bardo, Pennsylvania. Betsy Goodrich from New Hampshire. Aaron Johnson or Aaron, yeah, Aaron Johnson from Phoenix, Arizona. We have Granny from Wellington, Kansas. If I'm screwing up any of these states or names, I apologize. All these states are abbreviated and I'm just going back to my fifth grade uh, geography. I think that was the right topic. Uh, and that's kind of what the initials I remember. So Cinda from California, Sherry from Roseville, Minnesota, Christina W from Etna, Ohio, Collins, Collins family from Knob Noster, Missouri. We have one from good old Kobe Cactus as well. One from Linda M in West Virginia. One from D out of Littleton, Colorado. This one has no name, but it's from or was scanned in Providence, Rhode Island. And then we have one from Jane C in England. On the back, it said, Hello USA. So yes, Air National packages and letters are greatly welcomed. Uh, as well, and I greatly appreciate all the support everyone has given me this year. Uh, getting into the letters with gifts, we have one here from Susan R. out of Laurel, Maryland. Goes over there. This one has good old salsa. Salsa dog. If you guys haven't checked out my salsa video, I posted a two minute video with salsa in the snow and she absolutely loved it. Susan included a lovely letter with as well as a little bit of money. So thank you, Susan, for that. I greatly appreciate the money, uh, the wonderful gift. Hopefully all the holidays are great with you as well. Two taco and salsa, your friend Susan from Maryland sending you a cool water bottle, no more furs and drinks, buy some gas and dog treats. Your videos helped me through the pandemic. Well, thank you, Susan. I'm glad you appreciate the uh, the videos throughout the whole year. I know it's been very, very tough with everything going on. Uh, I love the letter. Thank you for the letter, and thank you for the wonderful cash gift. I uh, greatly appreciate it. It will definitely go towards some dog treats and some gas. I greatly appreciate it, Susan. Hopefully everything's going well with you in Maryland. Uh, awesome, and thank you for the wonderful gift. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, the next one is from Frank and Rita in Michigan. Cleo, Michigan, it appears. I greatly appreciate all the gifts and letters everyone has sent this year. It's been a very long year, as Susan said. This one from Frank and Rita. Look at that. Get yourself a little deer, a buck and a doe, I believe that is, or a buck and a, that looks like a baby doe. Maybe it is a doe. 
Taco. Merry Christmas. Friends from Michigan, Rita and Frank. Received a $10 cash gift from Rita and Frank. Hey, Taco, thought I'd write and say hello from Michigan. My husband and I watch all your videos. Seem to be a nice and charming young man with good morals. We are glad that you don't use a swearing as our grandson is here a lot of times when you are on. You seem to be a hard working too, and that's a good thing. A good attitude comes across too. And we're happy that you share your adventures with us and are helping to save the plants by scrapping. So letting you know that you make us smile. Love it when ending the video is say peace. Here's some $10, Fred. Love Rita and Frank. So thank you, Rita and Frank. Uh, thank you for all the support as well. Greatly appreciate the gift. Hopefully your grandson is doing well as well. Um, and yeah, everything's staying good during these holidays. Thank you for the kind words, the kind remarks. Always try to keep it friendly or family friendly on the channel. So thank you, Rita and Frank. Greatly appreciate the gift. Hopefully all is well with you too. This one's from John P. out of Michigan. I believe John P. also sent me a package. Um, I kind of briefly looked over who the packages were from, but you guys blessed me with so many, I can't really remember them off the top of my head. This one's from John P. John P. also sent a $10 gift. Greatly appreciate the cash gift. Taco, wishing you a bright and happy holiday season. John P., tell Salsa I said hi. Salsa said hi, right? John, John P. said hi, Salsa. John P., oh, not even focused. There you go. John P. said hi. Salsa seemed not to be very amused there. But John P. said hi. Thank you, John P., for the wonderful gift. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well in Michigan as well. I'm going to get to your package here shortly. Uh, I believe this is the last letter. We have one from Cindy C. in Richmond, Virginia. Cindy has definitely been sending me uh, some awesome presents throughout the years. Uh, I greatly appreciate Cindy. You have always treat me very, very well. Cindy and Rusty, I believe this is. Taco and Salsa, stay safe. We have a Subway gift card for $25. Thank you, Cindy and Rusty. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, you've been very supportive over the past couple of years and truly means a lot. I know you are from Richmond, Virginia, which I know I say every single year. It's very, very close to my college, and I do have a bunch of friends who are in Richmond, Virginia, and uh, I greatly appreciate you too. Uh, thank you for the gift card. Happy holidays to you as well, and hopefully you stay safe as well going into New Year's. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you, you too. Thank you for the wonderful gift. All right, where do we start? Well, we got a lot here. I gotta probably grab a bottle of water here in a second. These feel like license plates. I have no idea what any of this stuff is, but greatly appreciate this. I think Salsa just got up. She did, so she might appear in a shot here in a second. Margaret B. Channel. Oh boy. I got smart this time and brought this with me. And it just opened just like that, so I didn't even need that. Uh, what a day. Today is your day. Enjoy it. All right. That's that. Um, we will keep that off camera. But from a true fan of Maggie B, thank you for the wonderful gifts. We are going to keep this like that. We all will see that another time. Alrighty, uh, this one is, uh, where are we going from there? But thank you, Maggie B, for that. Uh, greatly appreciate the, uh, the gift. Greatly appreciate the license plate. Truly means a lot. Uh, thank you for the wonderful gift. Thank you. This one is from Junita F. out of Bradley, Illinois. This one's in a very fancy box. I don't think it's what that is, but <laughs> it could be. That would put me in some trouble if it is, because I don't know how I'd hook that up, but I'm pretty confident it's not that, but we will see. Taco Stacks. I love watching your videos, especially your finds at Locker Auctions. I'm not sure how you came up with your channel name, but when I saw this ornament, I knew it. You needed it. Keep the videos coming. Juanita. I'm going to go with Juanita. I don't think that's Junita. I don't believe it's a Samson Galaxy. I believe it is. I'm gonna go with a taco ornament. It is a taco ornament. Thank you for the taco ornament. Juanita. Love it, love it, love it. I did not get a Christmas tree this year. One of these years I have to get my act together. 
But thank you for the, uh, the taco ornament. Juanita, I'm gonna put that right back in the box. This one is not for you, Salsa. I can see her sniffing away. Juanita, thank you for the awesome taco gift. I'm gonna put this into my collection of taco apparel. And uh, thank you, Juanita, thank you for the ornament. Happy holidays to you as well, and thanks for the wonderful ornament. Thanks for the wonderful ornament. That's awesome, love the taco stuff. This one is from John P. John P. out of Michigan. I know I just opened up your letter not too long ago. I have some ephemera. <coughs> Looks like some possibly some Orioles, or Tigers ephemera. Taco Stack screens from the Great Lakes State of Michigan. I love watching your channel. You make my day. Keep living the dream. Peace. Thanks, John P. John P. included, <coughs> I believe that's a, a decal. We got some other things as well. Follow me to Pro Sports. That might be a sports store. We have a God Bless America Pro Sports and God We Trust Pro Sports. I don't know if you own a sports store, but maybe you do. If so, check it out in Sioux, Michigan. It's called Pro Sports. We have a decal, good old Miggy Cabrera. Oh, it's a postcard. Lake Superior. Nice looking postcard there. One well, looks like another postcard. Now we got a couple more postcards. And more postcards. Postcards on top of postcards. Thank you, John P., for the wonderful postcards, the ephemera, the decals. Hopefully all is well in Michigan with you. Thanks again. And if that's your sports store, check it out. Check it out, Pro Sports. Thanks again, John P. Greatly appreciate it. All right, this one's from Mindy A. in Nazareth, uh, just right over the, uh, I guess you say, the township line. Nazareth actually borders Stockertown. Uh, so a local subscriber, I know she's definitely left a bunch of comments. Greatly appreciate it. Ooh, letter. Very nice handwriting, Mindy. Hi, Taco Section. I want to thank you and Pam for the great videos. I'm a faithful watcher of both at the Recycled Life of both plus the Recycled Life. Always had something to look forward to during the lockdown waiting for you to drop a video. I was a passive reseller on eBay until about two weeks ago. Lost my seasonal job, only worked winters for PennDOT due to the COVID crisis. Now I'm selling full-time. Good thing I stocked up. The tees were my late husband thought you'd like the back graphics. Continue success in all your ventures and all the viewers do. I love salsa as well. Stay safe and best regards, Mindy. The yummy stuff. Ah, <laughs> That's good, I seen the sticker right on the back. Anyone knows that I checked out that, uh, that donut place. I used to include the donut place in a couple of my trash picking videos. This one has a sticker for the donut place right on the back. And it's a gift certificate for $10 worth of delicious donut, donuts. Um, greatly appreciate that, Mindy. I was actually gonna stop in this morning for that donut place. Uh, but I greatly appreciate the gift certificate. That is awesome. The yummy stuff. Oh my goodness. You know the way to my heart. Uh, here we have, uh oh, no way. I have been trying to get this shirt forever. And I was going to go to Fuel Cell. If you guys are local, Fuel Cell is associated with the scrapyard I go to. Judging by the look of this, because I believe they do sell the t-shirts at the, uh, like the gas station. These are great. You guys might, you guys might appreciate this one. Oh, wow. These are like, this must be original one. Junkyard dog. So people don't know that that is actually the logo and the company company that I bring, I can't really talk today. I bring scrap to. So the scrapyard I go to is that exact place. This one, oh, it's, it's the same shirt, but they're like vintage shirts they look like. That is awesome. I know you can buy these shirts at the store um, or at gas station, but it's not the same shirt. Like it's a completely different design. Uh, very, very cool. I greatly appreciate this wonderful gift, Cindy. Hopefully all is well, and thank you for passing on these to me. They will go to great use. The Junkyard Dogs, original t-shirt. I love the back graphic. This is the, this is the scrapyard I go to. 
Um, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well with you. Mindy, I think I called you Cindy by accident. I apologize for that. Definitely said Mindy. Yeah. I'm losing it. I knew your name was Mindy. Uh, but thank you, Mindy, for that. And thank you for the wonderful gift certificate to the donut place. Greatly means a lot. Uh, and I'll let Pam know that you appreciate her videos as well. So thank you. Thank you for that wonderful gift. I greatly appreciate that. All right, moving on with this one. We have one from Laura K in Easton, Pennsylvania. So Laura's also been a longtime subscriber. Let's see what's in here. I'm running out of space. Oh yeah, usually I put the stuff like on the ground. Wait a second. Wait a second. That looks very, very fancy there, uh, Laura. Looks very fancy. Uh oh. Taco about Mary, Taco about Bright. Oh. A little gift card. Ooh, the giant. <laughs> That's my first giant gift card. I greatly appreciate that. Taco and Salsa, it was awesome to meet you at the flea market this summer, and I'm glad that you still had it. Glad that they still had it. Here is a gift card so you can buy yourself and Salsa some snacks. I also have another gift for you. You can keep it or, free of, or feel free to sell it. Have a wonderful Christmas and a safe and a happy new year. Laura Kay, who lives near town number one. <laughs> she does live now near town number one. That is Laura Kay. Greatly appreciate that. First giant gift card. I go to Giant literally every three days. Giant is like the local supermarket. Kind of similar to probably like a lot of things like Kroger, um, Food Lion. It's just like if you guys live by a Kroger or Food Lion, uh, very similar. But we have this awesome, awesome vintage New York Rangers on a Salem tag t-shirt. So this just brought back some great memories as well. Rangers are probably my favorite sports team out there um in terms of hockey i'll pretty much wear almost anything in terms of apparel but rangers are by far the most oh this is awesome you guys can't see it but on the bottom it's very short on the front oh you can as long on the back that is known for something that salem used to do is make some weird stuff different stuff that should be unique stuff i should say uh, so Laura K, greatly appreciate that. Greatly appreciate the t-shirt and the gift card. It was also great to meet you during the summer, uh, during the flea market season. Hopefully all is well and happy holidays to you as well. Thank you, Laura. Maybe I'll run to you again some other time at some other place. Maybe Jive. Thanks again. All right, here we have a package from Georgine in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. Open with care. Oh. That's why I bring this. Because sometimes when I... I give these a little open. I just slice it, but I don't actually look inside, so I don't really don't really ever cut it twice or whatever it probably needs to be done. I'm gonna cut that too. Dear Taco and Salsa, <laughs> dear Taco and Salsa, wishing you a happy holiday season. That's merry and New Year's. That's bright. Georgine, Georgine's G. Thank you for that, Georgie. This will go with that. We'll go here. We have some wonderful gifts here. We have a Denver Broncos hat. I actually have a friend who's a huge Broncos fan. Very, very cool. A little Broncos hat. Love it. Love this graphic as well. Broncos always had a really cool logo. Uh, that's made by New Era. We have, ooh, uh-oh. Oh, wow. I've never seen this tin before. Sir Walter sounds very familiar. It's an old uh, smoking tobacco tin. That's interesting. I never really come across these. I've never come across this one, at least. But I guess it might be kind of a local thing as well. Dog treats for Salsa Girl. Thank you for the dog treats. Somebody's been watching the videos and knows I probably had this in the background a couple shots. I am obsessed with M&M almonds. It's a bad habit to be in, but it's also a good habit. So thank you for those. And then we have this really, really cool. Oh, there's two. <coughs> we have two Harley Davidson button up shirts embroidered on the side right there. You see it says in a very nice plaid. Is that even? Yeah, there it is. Very cool. Very, very cool. There's another one at the bottom. 
which looks like a matching pair. This one, size medium, definitely fit me. This one still has the tags. Love it, Georgine. I absolutely love it. I don't know why the camera keeps going like really white. Maybe, I really hope the whole video is not like that. It's because I don't have enough colors in here. But Georgine, thank you for the awesome gifts. Thank you for the hat. Thank you for the two button up shirts or button down shirts. Harley Davidson, I love it. Harley's coming back around right now. Everyone seems to love Harley stuff. Um, and I have a very small collection of Harley t-shirts. Salsa is currently licking the tape on your box that you just, well, yep, well, I just opened. Um, so she's loving the tape. Uh, but thank you for the wonderful shirts, wonderful button-up shirts. The hat, the one-of-a-kind, haven't seen this one before, smoking tin as well as the treats. Hopefully all is well with you, Georgine. And thank you for the wonderful gifts. Uh, thank you for the button-up shirts. And thanks again. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the holidays are good for you as well. And thank you. All right, this one is from Jackie P. Jackie P sent me a wonderful package in the fall. Jackie P out of Florida. Uh-oh. Put those over there. Two. Let's go like, like that. This goes over here. Cool. Let's do that. All right. What to open first? See two letters here. Thank you, Jackie P, for another wonderful gift box here. Salsas continue to eat something. Hey. Don't know which one to open. Merry Christmas. May the new year bring you health, wealth, happiness, and plenty of new subs. Enjoy. Peace, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Hopefully it brings lots of subs as well and lots of peace and love. Speaking of peace and love, this says paper love. Penguin. Oh, I love that. That's awesome. Peace, Jackie. That's a really nice card. Look at that. It's like a pop-up card. I haven't seen those in a while. And they're penguins. Love it. Love it, Jackie. Greatly appreciate that. It's actually a really nice card. It's really well made. This one. We're both in like this. Like a little Santa bag. Uh oh. Jackie! Jackie just sent me another $100. She sent me one last month. Uh, greatly appreciate that. You do not have to send me money, Jackie. Um, thank you for that. Thank you for the money. And she also sent me this awesome, awesome, Wallet, custom with taco stacks on it. Try to get that graphic in there. It's not even focusing. There you go, nope. almost had it. There you go. Custom wallet. Is it gonna focus back on me? There, oh, there you go. Uh, wow. This is an awesome wallet too. It's like one of the biggest issues I have with wallets are they just end up being so big. This one is the right size. Jackie P, thank you so much for that. Thank you for the money. Thank you for the custom wallet. Then we have a little, little stocking here. Uh-oh. Certificate of authenticity. What is this? This coin, the coin is accompanying this certificate of authenticity is a genuine legal tenured coin. The full color artwork is accomplished through a revolutionary new colorizing technique. It's like a collector's coin. 
Oh. It's like a Rangers logo on one side, but it's a half dollar on the other. And it's got this little holder thing. It's got a little holder thing. Back in the earlier videos, I showed a little portion of my own room when I was I bought a mattress. And a lot of people comment on this like frame thing I have in the corner, which has little squares. This thing is going to go right in one of those squares. Uh, so thank you for that, Jackie P. This one's going to actually be displayed in my personal collection. Put that back in there. This is a nice little stocking, too. That like that. That over here. Oh. And we have another half dollar coin. Thank you for the half dollar coin, Jackie. I don't see any more <laughs> treasure gold falling out. Uh, that is awesome. Thank you for the awesome, awesome wallet as well as the money. That great, I greatly appreciate that. A lot of these things. Uh oh. What in the world? I have no idea what that one thing. That one thing looks massive. It looks like a hockey skate. And I don't know what is that. This one says two papers. Oh, that's great. That's interesting. Look at that. So one. Also like that. No idea what this is. I could probably just show you. Oh, there you go. So it's two different pieces of paper. This one has a printing of a penguin on it. It's almost like it's artwork, and that's exactly what it is. And then on the back, it's got a golden retriever. That is very interesting. That's interesting art. And it's almost like somebody printed that on top of a piece of paper. That is very, very neat. My two favorite animals, a salsa dog and a penguin. Very cool artwork there. This is fragile, do not crush. Ah. Aha. <laughs> Salt and pepper. This is, this is very cool. It's salt and pepper and a lawnmower. So we got the barbecue last time. Now we got the lawnmower. Pretty soon we're going to have the whole collection here. Never seen this. That is a very interesting piece you got there. That is cool. I guess, yeah, wow. You just take out the pepper out of that. You just put on whatever and you put it back in there. That's cool. That's really cool. Thank you, Jackie. Very interesting gifts. Very unique gifts. I, I don't know what this that is. I guess I gotta put that up next to salsa. This one, maybe for cutting grass. Hold tiny key silver to turn on and off charging, charging cord, hope, charging cords inside. Hope it helps in the summer. Oh, it's a sports fan. I was like, oh wow, I already have a, uh, I have one for, um, for earphones, like to listen to music, but I don't have a sports fan. You know how much it sucks in the middle of summer when you're cutting grass and it's so hot? This is gonna be very, very helpful. So thank you for that, Jackie. A lot of helpful gifts here. You guys are gonna love the last gift. It's very unique and very interesting. Ah, hey, what in the world? Where are the odds? <laughs> M&M bars, almond bars, M&M Almond bars. That is cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I haven't even seen any of them ever. I don't even see them in the store. That'll go with the almonds that I got. The other package, so awesome. A couple pieces of candy, and then we'll throw this back in here so I have a box. And this is the very interesting gift. A very unique gift. It's a large hockey skate Christmas stocking. And it's embroidered on top, customized to taco stacks. <laughs> That's great. I love that. It's even got the uh, the thing that you can hold against the wall or above the fireplace. Oh, we got gifts inside it. Holy moly. It legit is Christmas. Wow. Hitting, hitting the spots on everything here. Let's put that over there. There. So we got the awesome Christmas stocking. This is 
waterproof socks. I could have used this the last week when it was snowing. You don't know how many times I changed my socks. It is astronomical. This looks like some incense. That's what it is. Lemon grass, arguably my favorite color or favorite uh, smell. This, I believe, is the one that you hold it for incense. It is. So I got something to hold the incense and one to burn it. This is lemongrass mint. That's lip balm. We have a little TY Beanie Baby gift as well. Uh-oh, that looks cool. You'll see that in a future video. These are what looks like salt and pepper shakers and penguins. They look very fragile. I don't want to open them and break them right now. One almost rolled right off the table. Those are cool. Unless they're, they say souvenir. I believe they are salt and pepper shakers. Very cool. Very, very cool. We got penguins, we got incense, we got lemongrass. Scent bomb, all that packaging, and I just like completely had that thing go flying, but it's all in good shape. It is glass. I don't know how it didn't burst, but uh, very, very cool. Lemongrass Centronella Scent Bomb. And I can smell it right now. Concentrate air freshener. Love it. Um, and then we have a bar of soap. Lastly, to wrap it up, we do have a mask, which you guys are going to love i know i received a ton of people requesting for these but i just never got around to it it is a taco stack mask so very very cool there i love this you'll definitely see us in future videos i think i just put that upside down i definitely did did i maybe i did yeah i definitely did uh did i maybe i did uh, but love it, love it, love it, love it. Jackie P, you blessed me again with tons of wonderful gifts. Everything from soap, smells, we have candy, we have gift cards, um, as well as thank you for the money. You do not have to send me money. I greatly appreciate all the wonderful gifts you sent me, uh, as well as last time. Greatly appreciate it, the coin, as well as the custom leather uh, wallet. So thank you for that and thank you for all the wonderful gifts and hopefully everything is staying well with you. Thank you Jackie P for all the wonderful gifts. Uh, greatly appreciate it and uh, happy holidays. Thanks again. Greatly appreciate it. All right moving on I added a bunch of boxes and packages from back there. Obviously there's still more over there and there's one over there and there's just not enough room on my table. Um, I guess we'll just work from left to right. This one's from Kimberly M. Kimberly M out of Florida. Kimberly M has been a longtime subscriber of the channel. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, this one is dressed to taco and salsa stacks. Love the wrapping as well. Kimberly M, like Kimberly Mitchell, that is. Ooh. Salsa heard her name and she just perked up. Nope, now she's, she's sniffing. I can see her in the corner, she's sniffing your package. Rugby? Hockey? Seen, ooh, taco and salsa girl. Salsa girl. Enclosing a few fish related t shirts, very common in my area of Florida. The jersey looked interesting, hoping you can research and maybe sell for money. The hat is from the 2002 SLC Olympics, never worn. Happy face. $10 Amazon card for salsa snacks. Thank you, thank you, Kimberly. As salsa is coming along over here, as you guys can see. Giving a little sniff. It's also, it's going bananas over all the clothes. Uh, we will, where did that go? That was that. So thank you for the Amazon gift card. We do have a couple t-shirts here. These t-shirts are awesome. Uh, these, uh, I was about to say sports, but these uh, nature shirts are really, really sought after now. Anything with some sort of random animal or wildlife. I know Jay has been Something fishy on the V-neck. <coughs> Very cool. 
something fishy with the turtles on the back. That's very, very cool. I know Jay's been all over at nature shirts at the thrifts. This one, I believe, also says something fishy. Fishy, fishy. Oh, over there. Salsa, don't eat that, please. Ah, this is a good quality shirt. What is this kind of shirt? This has got to be something alternative. This is soft and nice. Maybe for future Taco Stack merch, I'll get some shirts on like this. If anyone likes soft t-shirts out there, let me know. Got the hogfish on the back. Something fishy. This is a very nice shirt. I love the color on this. Thank you, Kimberly. That'll be worn in future videos for sure. We do have an Olympics hat here. Culture, contrast, courage. Salt Lake 2002. Salt Lake Olympics. I think the Salt Lake Olympics is like when I got my first ever Olympic video game. And those were the days. Oh man, I just love this tag. That's just bringing back, bringing back memories. I don't know how, what grade I was in. Sixth grade? Was Salt Lake winter? Why do I feel like Salt Lake was winter Olympics? I think it was. I love that hat. They call this now a dad hat. Floppy hat. Thank you for that, Kimberly. Love the hat. Very, very cool. I love the color on that as well. And then we have what appears to be this hockey jersey, which is in question. That I have no idea what this is. It's got some cool logos on it. Original ice hockey jersey. It's got a real name on the back. Is that a... So it says Slovakia on the bottom. I was about to say, is that Slovakia? Maybe Czechoslovakia? Oh, I am focusing. It's almost like a, uh, I wouldn't say a street hockey jersey, but Hosa, an 81, I think Marion Hosa or Marcel Hosa wore that number. I think they played for what, the Senators for a long time? But it's weird how it's like a sublimited, I think that's what they're called, jersey. I don't know. I'll have to do some research on that, but that's a really cool jersey. I do have quite a hockey jersey collection for me. So I'm going to add that to that. Nice graphics on that. I love the t-shirts as well. I love the love t-shirts. Kimberly, you've been very, very grateful for the very, very... You've been very, very supportive since the very, very beginning. So I greatly appreciate all the support over the past couple of years. The packages you definitely sent me, as well as the wonderful gifts you sent this time. Thank you for the Amazon gift card, as well as the hockey jersey and the t-shirts. Salsa Girl is going to love some new snacks as well. So thank you, Kimberly. Hopefully all is well. And happy holidays. Thanks again. Well, I just want to work left to right, but I'll knock out this one to the right. Did I even open this? I thought I did. I need to be open more. This one is from George Bright out of Illinois. Thank you, George B. Got some zip ties. Looks like some reading material. Oh, got a letter at the bottom. That one's missing the front. My dear Top Stack, it's good to see you again. Thank you for all the wonderful videos. I enjoyed your program much. Here's to Stalker Town. Hope to see you again sincerely. So thanks, George. Thanks for the wonderful letter. I see a bunch of assorted items here. We have the magazine, some zip ties. It says, don't feed your dog. It's a swirl valve. That's for a, that's a hairbrush. Probably if you have an afro. It's a card. Got a book in here. The Outline of History by H.G. Wells. It's a rock. Like we got some other paper ephemera down here. Some stuff seems to have fallen out. We have some trim. Got some older, uh, it's an older, it looks like a piece to a postcard. Old, it's an old Christmas letter. 
We've got another rock. It looks like we've got some more ephemera down here. This one is the families of 1608 Ash Street. It's a book. Well, thanks, Brett. Or, thanks, Brett. Th thanks, George. Uh, thanks for the wonderful gifts. Got ourselves an old book here, a piece to a Christmas letter. And a bunch of other stuff. Old magazine. If I ever get an afro, I got myself an old afro pick. Thanks, George. Thanks for all the wonderful items here. Hopefully all is well with you. All right, back over here, we have one from Janet J. in Indiana. Janet J. in Indiana. Well, well wrapped. Over there, this one's... Oh, wow. There's a bunch of stuff in here. This one is addressed to good old taco stuff. Ooh, got a letter. Looks like a lot of taco merchandise in here. This letter has some weight. Ah, look at that. I, I don't know what's... Oh. <laughs> taco removal service. That's interesting. Taco removal service. Every, taco, every day is Taco Tuesday. We have a Subway gift card. Thank you for the wonderful gift card. Two taco and salsa. That's seven million and dog, dog thanks. <laughs> Does it say, oh, that, there you go. I was like reading, I was like, where does it say seven million? But I was like, that's a million, and then you multiply it by seven. You guys can look at a good old salsa relative on the front. Love your channel and the daily adventures. Here's a, have a great Christmas and happy new year, Janet. So Janet included a lovely gift card here for $25 to Subway. Greatly appreciate that, Janet. Thank you. I, I you know, I, I get to Subway quite often, but um, I can definitely use that very soon because I do go there quite often. Now we have a lot of what looks like taco stuff in here. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's like a glass, that's like a hold, oh that's a, so the bottom thing here is actually, it looks like a tray that you kind of put like on your table like that, like a candy tray, and it's filled with orange Tic Tacs. Tell you what, probably, you know like everyone gets into like bad habits and like habits in general, Every time I eat, like if I eat lunch or dinner, afterwards I always have to have like two orange Tic Tacs. It's not really a good habit to be in, but it's all right. And that's going to help me out dramatically because I'm running low on Tic Tacs. But, so thank you, Janet. Thank you for some orange Tic Tacs as well as that awesome, it's a penguin tray, by the way. Um, I greatly appreciate that. We have I won't show Salsa Girl just yet. But we do have some dog toys for the good old Salsa. Bite-sized fun hand puppet. A little taco hand puppet there. Salsa loves these pepperonis, by the way. Got some pepperonis for Salsa Dog. Oh, this is going to be really interesting. Soft gummy mix gummy taco. I've, that's going to be one of those things that just absolutely messes with your head when you eat it. That's going to be cool. That's going to be interesting to try. We have two of those. Maybe I'll do a video trying interesting snacks. Ah, perfect. If you don't like tacos, then I'm nacho tight. Ha <laughs> That's great. It's great. i got to show you guys this one. Check that out. Let's fold that out. Oh, fold it the wrong way. Don't like tacos, then I'm nacho tight. It's a great shirt. Oh, it's like a baseball three-quarter sleeve raglan shirt. Those are awesome. The last one I had shrank so much I couldn't wear it, but very, very cool. Janet, bless me as well. This can't be plush food. No. This, this is not a toy. This has got to be a... It's gotta be like a, uh, whatchamacallit. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if I say, this is not a dog toy. This thing's massive. It's more like a pillow that you like you throw on your couch. So also don't even think about it. She, she's getting fired up. That is cool. I didn't really show that that well. It's a big taco. That is a large, large taco. Janet, thank you for all the wonderful taco gifts. We have pepperonis, we have gift cards, we have this awesome t-shirt. Uh, and these really interesting gummy tacos, which we'll try in the future. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful gifts, Janet. Hopefully all is well and happy holidays to you. And thanks for all the wonderful gifts. Thank you. All right, moving along. Happy holidays to everyone out there. This one's from Garlene G in Canada. Oh, Canada package. Oh, looks like we got a hat here. Oh, wow. <laughs> what else do we have here? Oh, we got a little letter here. Little letter. I was recycled before it was popular. Oh, well, that's a cool letter. Have a good one. Regifting. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year 2021 to you and Salsa. Thank you for taking care of the. It's in cursive. I can't read cursive. I'm going to try my best here. It says, oh, it says Earth. Wow, I can't read cursive. Taking care of the earth in Pennsylvania. Keep up the good job you're doing <laughs> to take care of all the recycling that's going to the landfill. Arlene G, Canada, Nova Scotia. Have a good one. Thank you, Arlene, greatly appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. We have a lovely, that's actually really neat. They got the logo on the bottom of the brim. Lovely Boston Red Sox World Series League Champions hat. I don't know if this was a like a uh, locker room hat. That's a very cool logo on it. Boston Red Sox. Then we have a shirt. I believe this is a shirt. This is a shirt. Uh, it's a button-up shirt. I wish I would have. I would have. There we go. Maybe I can throw it on top of this, like a the holiday button-up shirt. There we go. For the festive mood. I'm going to do this all wrong. It's going to be so bad. It's also approved. And this is a lip smacker. Yep, see, she's fired up. It's a lip smacker. I don't know what a lip smacker is. Best flavor forever? Chilled eggnog. But it's a penguin. Love penguins. So thank you for the wonderful gifts. Thank you for the wonderful gifts from Canada, Nova Scotia. Uh, thank you for the wonderful hat as well as the wonderful shirt, which although is size XL, it's feeling kind of fitted on me. Salsa likes it too. Thank you, Arlene, greatly appreciate it. And thank you for all the wonderful gifts. Hopefully all is well. Happy holidays to you in Nova Scotia, Canada. Thanks. All right, uh, we'll bounce over here and I'm going to take down, I believe those are the last two packages for today. This one is from Mr. and Mrs. Treble in Rochester, Minnesota. When I saw this package, I did not know how, how to open it. It was, however, ripped right in the front, but it looks like one of those things that you got to kind of open up like three boxes. Or at least rip those open, then open up a box. Uh, oh, did upside down. I wonder if I can, oh, I just do it like that. Whoa, all sorts of gifts in here. So also, we got all sorts of gifts. I wonder if I can just do this. Goes like that. Definitely open it upside down because the letter was at the bottom. I believe that's it. For that box. Salsa, go ahead. You can stick it all you want. I know you. Oh, she's all in that right now. Taco stacks and salsa. We got a little taco stacks shed over here. Love it, love it. There we go. Open that. Oops. 
Have yourself a happy little holiday. It's actually a really, really cool car. Taco and Salsa, we live in Rochester, Minnesota. We are big fans of yours. We subscribe to your channel. If I may make a suggestion, you need to have more tables at the flea market. You'll sell more. I've done what you're doing for 20 years, got divorced, and just remarried on November 14th. Congratulations, congratulations on your remarriage uh, just recently. We have three cats, which is our kids. <coughs> I hope this finds you safe and salt, safe and salt, safe and happy. Safe and healthy. We're sending you what we can. We are both disabled. Bob and Margaret T. Shadow, Max, and Bandit. Thank you, Shadow, Max, Bandit, and Bob and Margaret. Greatly appreciate that. Hopefully all is well. We have a beanie here. We have a lovely beanie there. We have two license plates. For some reason, these look a little bit older than the ones that I'm very familiar with with Minnesota. They also look a little bit wider. Love that. All right, the battery just died on the camera, so we are back in action. I just went through the license plate as well as the beanie. Uh, awesome license plate, don't really recognize that one. This is the one that I do recognize. Now, what is different about these two? What am I missing here? They're the same size. Oh, <laughs> this one has black font. This one has blue font. That's different. Also, this one runs all the way to the top with the blue. This one has a white trim. It's amazing how just, oh, another thing, this one also has like a line right in the middle. This one does not. Amazing, just a little, little bit of difference can make all the difference. Salsa treats as well. Thank you for the wonderful salsa treats. We have some, what looks like middens. These look like possibly middens for a fireplace. Maybe. I do not have a fireplace. And then this is, ah, there we go, some trail mix. You might be able to see, no, you can't really see up there. I do have a bag of trail mix going on. So thank you for the trail mix. Thank you for the wonderful license plates. I believe one of those plates will be going up on the wall because it is different. And I don't think I recognize that plate as well. Uh, and thank you for the salsa treats. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all those well in Minnesota. Thank you for the wonderful gifts. And uh, thank you for all the support over the past year and, and onward. And happy holidays to you too as well. Thanks again, appreciate it. Over here we have what looks like a smaller package. This one's from Linwood, Washington. Washington State. Linwood Mail Mart. Oh, so, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, I see a t-shirt. No. Anyone in hockey might know that little colorway. I don't see a letter. Is there a letter? This is great. Give Salsa a good rub about the head and neck for me. Love your channel, Beth. So this one's from Beth, I believe that is. Beth S. Those are what? Those are die, cats, die cut stickers. They must be stickers. I thought they were more like a magnet, like a cling magnet. Does anyone know what logo that is? That is now the Seattle Kraken. Wow. I would say one of the best logos in hockey now. I do like the Golden Knights. I think their logo is pretty sweet. Seattle Kraken, they got their logo right. I would say, you know, there's a lot of hype about Seattle getting a hockey team. I love the Kraken logo. Very, very cool. Thank you, Beth. Thank you for that. This is my first Kraken piece of apparel I've ever owned. Uh, you'll definitely see us in future videos. This is an awesome logo. This is going to be a great, great t-shirt to wear during the flea market season, especially if there's any hockey fans out there. Um, they're going to love it, and they're going to be very appreciative because I think it's going to be a while before we start seeing some crack in apparel, and only the true diehard hockey fans will recognize that logo. So congratulations on getting a hockey team. Thank you, Beth, for the awesome t-shirt as well as the decals. This will definitely be worn in the future. You'll definitely see this a lot when it comes time to uh, wear t-shirts again, which might be in a while, but uh, thank you for that. Very, very cool. I absolutely love it. First crack in apparel that I now own. This one is from Eric W. out of Santa Ana, California. First class. We a letter. I don't know what that was. Oh, wait a second. Huh. Greetings, mystery name, Taco Stacks. Thought you can use these mini plates on your wall. The plates were used on my dad's work truck while working in Beverly Hills as an electrician. 
Yes, he met several movie stars and singers. Too bad he never once asked for an autograph from any of them. Keep on junking. We, your fans, enjoy your videos. Eric of California. P.S. Say hi to Salsa. Absolutely, we'll say hi to Salsa. Thank you for that. This felt like just a... Oh, that's why. Oh, that's awesome. What is this? That is... I don't even know what that would be. Opening date, 1983? It's like a cool... It says, drop in any mailbox, return postage guarantee. Drop in any mailbox. It's like one of those things I think you drop in a mailbox and then just sends it to it. Oh, it's like keys. If you lose your keys, you drop in the mailbox and it'll return it to the person who owns the keys. I think. That's very cool. I love that. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is that? Powered by McDonald Land. That's going in a personal collection. That is not being thrown away. That's not being scrapped. Everything I keep that you guys send, but this one I got to find a special place for to remember. Why are you not focusing? Look at that. I guess it's a nameplate. That is cool. That is really cool. Oh man, what are these plates? I've never seen these plates before. 1957, 1958. Wow. Thank you for sending me these. These are interesting. Beverly Hills delivery license. That is so unique. And thank you for sending it to me. I know this is part of your family history. Um, but these are going to a good home and a great collection. You won't see these going on any marketplace or anything like that. These are going to a great collection here. I greatly appreciate it. These are awesome. I've never seen plates like that. And then lastly, <coughs> Calamar filters. Just a nice overall box, it seems like. And a little advertisement tape measure. By Hercules Machine. Tool and Die Company. Always love the small vintage advertisement. I would say this is probably what, the 70s? Maybe 60s or 70s? I love this. Thank you, Eric, for giving me a past of your family's history. Great pieces all around. I love them. I love the vintage stuff. I love the antique stuff. Those plates are awesome. I love this McDonald's plate as well. It looks like a name tag. Uh, greatly appreciate it, Eric. Thank you for sharing that with me. And uh, it's going to a great home. Thanks again. Happy holidays to you as well. And I'll tell Salsa you said hello. Thanks. All right. This is my last box over here before the last two over there. Uh, this one is from uh, Deepal D out of Florida. Look at it says Deepal. Deepal. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. This one is from Florida. It looks like Ardeen, Florida. What do we have here? It looks like a sweatshirt. Ah, ah, I see what's going on here. Oh, wow. Hi, Taco Stacks. Greetings from the United States Navy. Enclosed are two new items, sweatshirt with a hoodie and a ball cap. Hope that you can use them. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for all you do. D. Pal D, captain of the MCUSN of the United States Navy. P.S. I will retire soon after nearly 30 years. A shout out to my late wife, Lorraine, who died on active duty in April 2014. She is buried with full honors in Arlington National Cemetery. Thank you for all you do, Captain. Uh, and thank you for all the support for the channel, as well as thank you to yourself um, for your service. I uh, greatly appreciate that, and as well to your late wife. Uh, it truly does mean a lot that you would uh, send me this stuff. Uh, thank you, U.S. Navy. My grandfather was in the U.S. Navy as well and served in World War II. He was an electrician on one of the boats. I forgot what the boat was called, um, the style of the boat. But he participated in the Iwo Jima of World War II. So uh, thank you for that. U.S. Navy definitely has a strong service in my family. We have a really awesome brand new U.S. Navy sweatshirt hoodie. Very, very cool. Love it. Love the graphics. And then we have this awesome The Game 
U.S. Navy strap back hat. Although the coloring looks weird on camera, it's actually brand new. I don't know why it looks like it's all sun faded. Why is it like that? But thank you, Captain. Thank you for the wonderful gear. Uh, thank you for all your service as well. Uh, greatly appreciate for what you've done for the country as well as what you've done for you. Uh, and thank you for the, uh, the wonderful gifts. Hopefully all is well. You'll definitely see us in future videos. Navy has something that's been very, very, uh, you know, Navy has definitely been something that my family has served in, or at least my grandfather has served in. So that armed forces definitely does mean a lot to me and has some sort of resemblance. So I uh, greatly appreciate everything you've done and thank you for the wonderful gifts. Thanks, happy holidays. All right, tripping over packages here. Last but definitely not least, we have two packages remaining. This is both from Mary S. in Lebanon, Georgia. I did a quick look and I saw that one package was sent three days before the other. I think that was this one. So I'll open up that one first. Thank you to everyone who sent package, and thank you to Mary S. who now blessed me with two more packages. I will probably actually just move this over here so I have a little bit more space. Mary S., thank you for the wonderful gifts here. We have one from Lebanon, Georgia. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, I could have used this probably four days ago, five days ago. Taco, and close their eyes I found this week after binge-watching binge your channel. Thank you for that. I'm a junker from way, way back. The stuff you call vintage, I have no clue about. So I challenged myself to seek out some sports stuff. How'd I do? Please keep sell or give away if it was it was a fun thrifting day for me. Woof woof to salsa. She will probably love to sniff out all these and get Georgia smells. Best wishes, Mary. I don't know where salsa went. Salsa's been here this whole time and I think she went upstairs to bed. What could this possibly be? Ah, ha ha. It's the first one I've seen of those. <coughs> I don't know who this is. Underdog. Pepsi Collector Series, Underdog. I've never seen that, I have no idea. It looks like it, it's gotta be some sort of, well it says Pepsi Collector Series, so I'm thinking it's gotta be 80s. It's a cool cup. Pour back a couple of drinks in that one. I should probably keep that with the bubble wrap. Don't wanna have that fall over. Could have used these probably like five days ago, which guy stinks because I froze my butt off. Uh, hand warmers, if you live in the north, you live in anywhere where it's cold, go to an auction, have these in your pocket, absolute game changer. Ah, that's interesting. A Syracuse pool ball. Syracuse University, the Orange Men, or were formerly known as the Orange Men. We have what looks like bag of a pair. Ah, interesting. Right there, put that with that. This is, ah, it's like one of those vacuum sealing bags. <laughs> you open one of these, do you have to unvacuum it? I don't think so. No, that Oh, ah. I guess I'll end up keeping this bag. Is this what I think it is? Polo Ralph Lauren button-up shirt. <laughs> so without the graphic on the back, this shirt I actually had. Does this have the big pony on the front? It does. I bought this shirt when I was in ninth grade, 10th grade. It's right when this kind of style came out with a big pony. And a lot of people said it was fake because no one knew about the big pony design. And now look at it, they're still everywhere. So that's a cool Ralph Lauren Ralph Lauren button up shirt here. Awesome Mario shirt. Size large, that will work. Oh, that's a great graphic. Hey, my gamer friends out there probably can appreciate that. That's a cool shirt. Ooh, an older, there's a newer, brand new with tags. Adidas, some track pants. So some track pants, very, very cool. We have a Broncos tee. Good old Peyton Manning when he used to play for them for a couple years. Another Broncos apparel. This one, the older retro style ringer design for the Atlanta Braves. You did a very, very good job here. That's a good old t-shirt. 
This one looks like a baseball jersey. It's just all right. It's a blank rest Russell Russell Athletic vest baseball jersey. Ooh, this is a really cool tie. So I don't wear ties that often. This is a Ralph Lauren tie. That's great. It's a Ralph Lauren golf tie. Oh, I had to put that in my tie collection. I have probably six ties, and I wear the same exact one. Whenever I go to a wedding, I wear somehow I end up wearing the same exact clothes. Same exact clothes every single time. I finally switch it up, even though all my friends are now married. So I don't know how many more weddings I'm going to go to. We have a Harry Potter tee. Hogwarts. Harry Potter. And this looks like a large starter jacket. An all-around, just great windbreaker style jacket. Almost looks like it's a three-quarter sleeve, but I don't think it is. It is my size. It's in the Red Bull, or the, uh, the Red Bull, the Bulls colorway. So thank you, Mary. All these stuff, I'm going to be wearing a lot of this clothes. The pants might be a little bit too big for me, uh, but I do, have, I do have friends who would definitely wear that set of pants, especially because they're brand new. Um, but yeah, thank you for that jacket. That jacket is going to be very, very helpful. We have another box here from Mary. This is the second package. Thank you, Mary S. Ah, uh, what is this? Starting lineup. I was just going through all my figures the other day. I was trying to clean up, uh, try to put a snowblower on my lawnmower. And uh, I was going through all my starting lineup figures that I have for my kid. Bring back my memories. Good day, Taco and Salsa. I hit the thrift store of a 50% off coupon on everything and found very little for myself. So I went and searched for Taco Treasures. Again, you may do as you wish with these. Enjoy Mary. So thank you, Mary, for that. We have a whole bunch of apparel here as well. This one looks like a scarf for FC Dallas. FC Dallas. Soccer, if anyone out there is a soccer fan. Let's see what we got going on here. This is a hockey jersey. I have no idea. An Argo alumni game? I, I don't know who that is, but it's a hockey jersey. Ah, Vineyard Vines. Oh, buddy. Do we have, oh, we have two shirts here. Oh, man. We got some apparel for next year. I don't own much Vineyard Vines, but after starting YouTube, I've come across a couple pieces. Great, no focus. Hope that thing was focused for the last couple of bits. Um, Vineyard Vines, got the whale on the back, the very, very classic logo. I actually love Vineyard Vines shirts. I, I know their style is kind of going out right now. It's more of like a summer wear as well. You got a fisherman out there. Very, very cool on the back. You got the American flag, but it's with a bunch of uh, fly reels, or fly rods and what look like pike, possibly. That's an awesome shirt. You guys see a lot of this apparel. I'm gonna be set for the next year or so for all this apparel. This another Vineyard Vines. How do you find all this Vineyard Vines stuff? I find one Vineyard Vines maybe once every, I don't know, three months. It's a long sleeve, so I can wear it as soon. If we ever get a day where it's like 50 or 60 degrees out, I'm gonna start wearing some long sleeve tees. It's almost like a football design vineyard vines. Thank you for that, Mary. Got a nice collection there of vineyard vines. Looks like a couple pieces here. We had a fleece for an ugly pants golf tournament, a fleece vest. Please fast, golf, golf pants, ugly pants. Ah, is that a bunch of Jeeps? Sure looks like it. It is. <laughs> a bunch of Jeeps on the back of this shirt. Jeep Vengers. Big Jeep guy. We have a Mickey sweatshirt. Well, that's cool. Haven't seen one of those. Mickey. It's a high quality sweatshirt. We have a good old San Francisco 49ers tee. And lastly, the last shirt here is a really, really nice 
I don't know if it's a blank front. It's not. It's a champion, but it's like a it's Walt Disney World half marathon. That sounds very, very tiring. But who needs to go do the half marathon when you get the hoodie itself? When you already have the hoodie. So thank you for that, Mary. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, thank you for the wonderful gifts. Thank you for all the wonderful apparel. I love the Vineyard Vine shirts, as well as the starting lineup, the mug, as well as a lot of the other items you sent me. I actually see those, uh, those pieces of apparel worn in the future, especially in the summer when I can finally wear those t-shirts. Uh, and it's not so cold, but Mary, thank you for all that. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts. Hopefully you have a happy and safe holiday as well. And thanks again for the wonderful packages, the two packages. Uh, thank you for, thank you for all the support. Greatly appreciate it. All right, so it got absolutely wild here. Uh, thank you to everyone who sent packages or gifts, letters. Uh, very, very cool. I greatly appreciate all the wonderful gifts you guys and girls have sent this year. And thank you to everyone out there for all the support over the past year. I know it's been a very, very difficult one, um, but we made it through. We're this far. Well, I guess we didn't make it through just yet, but we got a couple more days. But uh, thank you to everyone who sent packages, gifts for the holidays. I know everything's kind of crazy right now with the postal service. So uh, if you sent something recently and I haven't received it, I might receive it this week. I might receive it next week or in two weeks, wherever it might be. And I'll end up, and I'll end up doing another mail time video video here um in the early january so uh thanks for everyone who sent something greatly appreciate you know this is definitely like christmas for myself uh and definitely christmas for salsa uh thank you to everyone out there it truly does mean a lot that people are have been very very supportive sent apparel gift cards money salt and pepper shakers stickers decals t-shirts whatever it might be uh paper ephemera hats candy salsa treats uh, thanks to everyone out there as well as license plates thanks to everyone out there hopefully you guys are staying safe during these times if you guys are curious and you want to send anything to salsa or myself my peel box information is in the description below i'll catch you guys next time for next venture until next time have a great day keep living a dream peace